Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at U-Trailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Yakima Lock and Load Platform for crossbars right here at U-Trailer. So you already have crossbars on your vehicle, why would you get a platform rack? Well, this is designed for extra heavy duty purposes. If you want to go off the road, if you want to carry diverse loads, if you want to carry all kinds of different things, your crossbars are limited by the bar space. This one, you have so much more space to load things down and you have a really good weight capacity. We're going to take a look at the different features of this rack. This is especially good for if you want to use a bunch of different accessories, a bunch of different cargo management systems. So we'll take a look at all of those too. This especially is the kit for your crossbars, meaning this is the lock and load platform rack that can be mounted to your different crossbars, whether you have arrow, factory, round, square crossbars. You can use this special clamp that comes with this kit to mount the rack. So we'll also take a look at that and see how that works, especially since it's slightly different compared to the other ways to mount your lock and load platform. Some of the fun accessories I have on here are our jerry can holder. We also have our corner brackets as well as some anchor points. Now you can also use this with a bunch of different things. All you pretty much need are T-slot mounted accessories. So even if you have items or accessories, let's say like a bike rack holder that fits into your T-slot, even if it's not from Yakima, you can mount it to this. Now this is made of a rugged construction and it's actually designed for off-road use, which is great for if you wanna go camping, you wanna go hiking, you wanna go just hit the off-roads. Now you can also use this while driving down the highway or around town if you want to. It's just nice to know that it's designed for heavy duty use. It's made of aluminum, which gives it its great weight capacity, but also kind of cuts down on the weight added to your roof. It also has this black powder coat finish. So we have loaded a bunch of different cargo on it. You can see some scratches start to develop, but nothing too crazy right away. I do recommend maybe using a black paint marker to cover up the scratches just every now and then just to help maintain its corrosion resistance. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of different features on this platform rack. One of them is over here in the front. We have a wind deflector. Because you are carrying around a large rack and lots of cargo on your vehicle, you do want to do everything you can to reduce that wind drag and wind noise. This can also be removed in case you need to use this as a strap down point. What we have here is the smallest platform rack and you can also get larger platform racks if you have larger vehicles. So this is size K, but there's also sizes B, J, E, N, H. Check out our product pages here at eTrailer.com just to make sure you get the right size for your vehicle. So I have some recommendations as well beyond Yakima's recommended accessories for their lock and load platform rack. One of my recommendations is the Moki door step. This goes right into your door and allows you to get a little bit more height and a little bit more traction as you strap things down and load and unload your platform rack. Another thing is some straps. So we have a bunch of strap kits here at E-Trailer. You can get ratchet straps, you can get cam buckle straps. The ratchet straps are ideal for your accessories that include the round anchor points. If you don't have accessories that have that, I recommend getting cam buckle straps as well because those help you out with strapping things down. Another thing about that is if you do have cargo on there, I do recommend using at least a pair of straps to tie things down. As cool as this looks with everything on it and ready to go, let's take all the cargo off so that we can take a closer look at the platform rack itself. So this platform weighs about 43 and a half pounds for the smallest platform. Your larger platforms are gonna weigh a little bit more. You can find out their weight on their own product pages. Now, a thing about that is since you do have it mounted to your crossbars, this requires two crossbars and you are kind of limited by the weight capacity of the crossbars themselves. So no matter what weight capacity your actual platform is, consider your own roof rack capacity as well as usually your roof weight capacity of your vehicle. So the height added to the top of your vehicle will differ on your crossbars because they are mounted to the top of your crossbars. 
So as a reference, I'm going to measure from the top of my vehicle I'm working on right now to the top of the crossbars and it sits at about four and seven eighths inches right where the crossbars are. So that's going to be where your roof rack or I guess your platform rack is sitting on. So the height now added to this RAV4 is about seven and a quarter inches of height. Now let's talk about where you mount your items. Before, you were limited by your two crossbars when it came to cargo, and those were 28 inches apart. Now, with a platform on top, you have a lot more area to store whatever you need. So here we have the size K platform, which has one, two, three, four, five, six slats on the inside, as well as T-track channels on all the slats and around the frame itself. So you can now see how much more space you have and how much more versatility you have to carry really whatever you need to carry. Taking a look at the slats on our platform rack, notice how we have them. Um, the slats themselves are about three inches wide. I guess maybe around more closer to three and one eighth inches wide. We also have T-track channels. So the distance from one slat to the other is seven inches center to center. The T-track channels are seven inches apart as well. And you have entry points for your T-channel accessories. So each entry point is about 15 from center of one to the other 16 inches apart before you have to put in the other one. So this platform rack is the size K, which is labeled as 55 by 49. Well, let's take an actual measurement. So measuring from the frame, one side to the other, we have the T-track sitting at 52 inches apart. And then for the width on this one, center to center of the T-track, it sits at 46 and a quarter inches apart. So that's gonna be helpful for if you are loading things to the outside frame, that's how much distance apart you get. Remember how we talked about how the brackets have different ways you can adjust them depending on your crossbar spread and where you want it on your vehicle? That's going to be important as well because please make sure that you still are able to open the hatch on your vehicle if you do have a hatch on your SUV. That way it doesn't come in contact with the rack. That's why we have the smaller rack here instead of the larger one. So again, depends on your own vehicle fit. As you install your accessories and your cargo onto your platform, preparation is key. If you are installing things into the front, you may need to remove this wind deflector right over here. Also make sure it takes your measurements of if you have coolers for your brackets, things like that before you install all of them. So yesterday I shot the demo for the crossbar clamps which are used with your lock and load kit. So let's take a look at that because I go really into depth on how to install them and how they work. So to start your install process of the crossbar clamps, you're first gonna attach the pivot mount to the crossbar bracket. So you have those two bolts. You're gonna use those bolts first. Notice how we have the hex bolt with the flat washer that pops right in there between the bracket and the pivot mount and secures with a hex key or the torque wrench. So once your pivot bracket is installed to your crossbar bracket, you're then going to put this onto your crossbars. You're gonna have this piece underneath as well as two nuts and two flat washers that go on top. So this fits right underneath the crossbar. We're gonna put our split washers on first, one and then two, and then we're gonna hand tighten down the two nuts on top. For the next step, I do highly recommend using a 10 millimeter wrench or a socket wrench, or if you're super careful like me, you can just use a drill to get the first part of the thread down and then tighten it down by wrench later on. And just like that, once you have tightened down all eight bolts for your crossbar clamps, you're then ready to put the platform on top. So for this next step, I do recommend having a friend help you hold the other side of the rack. I have my friends here. I got Zach, I got Tom. They're gonna lift this platform rack up and carefully fit them between the pivot brackets on our crossbars.
Once you have the platform on the pivot brackets, don't forget to push the clamps right into the platform. You can see where they fit into those tracks. Do that on all eight of those clamps and then tighten down those large bolts with a half inch socket. Notice how we have them clamped down to two of the slats. So it doesn't really matter which two or where along the slats you have it clamped down. Try to get as evenly distributed as you can, but just make sure that you have two slats secured for each of the pivot brackets. Don't forget to double check all of your bolts since there was a lot of them involved in the install of the both platform and your crossbars but after that is complete, you're done with the install. Once you have all your accessories installed, don't forget that if they do have straps, to tighten down all those straps and make sure everything is secured. Make sure to utilize your platform racks T channels as well as its own anchor points if you need to. That way everything is nice and secure. But I also recommend taking a look at our product page. We have a really good list of all the Yakima accessories that can be used with this platform rack. And other things that are not from Yakima, they can also be mounted, especially if they're T-Track mounted. So my personal thoughts about the Yakima Lock and Load Platform Rack for crossbars is I really do see it as an upgrade or a step up for when your crossbars are not enough for your adventures. I always think that the aero bars from Yakima or from other brands are great to add on to your vehicle in order to carry more things. But when that's not enough, when you don't have enough weight distribution, when you just want to add different accessories, when you want to carry a diverse or a variety of cargo, that's where the platform rack comes in handy. Yakima really made it to be off-road rated, which means even with your sudden starts, your turns, all kinds of fun things, it's designed to be sturdy and durable and heavy duty. I don't see this as being useful for just your normal consumer, meaning if you're just going out to the hiking every now and then, you're just going out onto the trails every now and then this might not be the best fit for you but if you're really into the lifestyle and you really want something that's able to handle your adventures this might be a good way to go and that was a look here at our yakima lock and load platform for crossbars right here at e-trailer my name is evangeline and i hope you enjoyed the journey